beautiful, healthy breakfast casserole done in the Ninja Speedy. Let me show you how we did it. So to start this one off, I've got my Ninja Speedy on the sear function, and I'm on high on that sear function, and I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of that pan because I'm using, you could use a ground sausage here, and if you were, you wouldn't need any oil, but I'm actually using a ground chicken that I season like sausage. So that was actually some ground. I ground it myself. It was uh, half and half thigh meat and breast meat. I like to grind my own chicken so I know what's in there. And I like to do half and half dark and light meat. So continue to watch the channel. And I'll show you how to prep ground chicken to use in more recipes. But what I actually seasoned that with was, um, I, this was a half a pound of chicken, and I put half a teaspoon of celery seed in there, and then a quarter to a half of sage, smoked paprika, marjoram, and thyme. And that sage in there as well, but use the quantities that you think. Start with a quarter and go up to a half. Of those, I did do a half on the smoked paprika, and I also put a little bit of red pepper flakes in there as well because we like it a little spicy. But again, you could just use a breakfast sausage here if you wanted. So we're just going to let that cook for a few minutes. And then I've got a quarter, about a quarter of a purple onion, one red bell pepper, and one jalapeno pepper. We're going to go into that ground meat with that. And I want to go ahead and get my potato in there. I've diced them real small. But I want to go ahead and get them in there because I want those to cook a little bit so that we ensure that they get, get cooked all the way through. So I'm going to add... There was no salt in that chicken just seasoning so at this point I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt and of course a little pepper and I'm just going to let this continue to cook for about five minutes and you can see how beautiful those colors already are we're just going to let this cook for about five minutes and while all that is cooking, you can close that lid to make it go a little quicker and cook it with that lid on so that we get those potatoes just a little bit tender. And with about two minutes left of cooking off these vegetables, I'm going to add, because I'm using kale, I'm going to go ahead and add my greens. But if you were using spinach, it would be okay to put them in just before you get ready to put the eggs in. But because I'm using a kale, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there to allow that kale to get a kick start as well. Look at the color that we're already building in that breakfast casserole. And it smells amazing in the kitchen as well. So I think this is going to be really good. So as you can see, those greens have wilted down and our potatoes are starting to get tender. So I'm going to turn the speedy off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully, I've got my mitt here, I'm actually going to transfer what's in here into my little pan that I have that I bake in the Ninja with. This is an Instapot pan that I got off of Amazon that I use to bake cakes and oatmeal in and I have put a little olive oil in that pan and greased it just a little bit and I'm going to put what was in the bottom of that speedy I'm going to now put in that pan we've got that all in the pan I'm going to take that pan and all I'm going to do is rinse the speedy pan out 
So we've rinsed that out and be very careful handling that. Make sure you have a hot mitt on because that is extremely hot. I'm going to put one cup of water down in the bottom. And we're going to go in with the tray. And then we're going to put that pan with our casserole in there. I've got six scrambled eggs with two tablespoons of milk or cream and salt and pepper. The eggs are seasoned and I'm going to pour that right in there with the rest of our ingredients. And then I'm going to top mine with a little bit of feta. You could actually stir it in if you wanted to. You could use Parmesan, you could use cheddar, whatever cheese, whatever your family likes. We're going to close that lid. We're going to flip it up to rapid cooker. We're going to go down to steam and bake. And I'm going to put it on 12 minutes. Actually, I'm going to go 13 minutes, but I expect it to be done before then. We're going to hit start, and of course it has to come up to temperature, and we'll keep an eye on it and see how long it takes. So we're down to three minutes on the timer, so that means we've been cooking about 10 minutes. It took about five minutes for it to come up to temperature, and as you can see, it looks delicious. So let's get it out of there and see if we can plate it up. I wish you could smell that because that smells absolutely amazing. So we're going to go in here. Look at the colors in that. And plate that up. So check that out. That's a hearty brunch or even a dinner. We've got those sweet potatoes with that chicken sausage, a little bit of kale, some roasted bell peppers, and feta cheese in with those eggs. That is a hearty breakfast that will keep you going for a while. And of course, I'm pairing it with a avocado toast. Like and subscribe now to see more.